name is Dragosh and I'm the director for The World of Chinese, uh, working on the One Minute China series about Hainan. Uh, when we first started to shoot this series, we actually wanted to capture the human side of people traveling to Hainan in general and make sure that the world understands that it's a lot more than a touristic destination. As we got the chance to travel through uh, Hainan and on the coast, we discovered different aspects of the people living there in the first place, like smaller fishing villages uh, that are full of bustling life, fresh fish that you can get from the market and bring directly to the restaurant. We actually got the chance to also visit some amazing museums. So all these small little things that were part of Hainan uh, allowed us to really discover the city, uh, well, not only the city, but the island in uh, different aspects, through its people, through its culture, through its history. I find the videos about Hainan to offer a wide range of unique cultures, human interest, interesting stories, and beautiful imagery all bundled in a nice digestible package. The series gives a compelling and thoughtful look at topics that are relatively unexplored with a relaxed atmosphere. My favorite video has to be the life in a volcano-made village. I really enjoy the way it captures how the locals have integrated with the volcano and how much it provides for the community. I also like how the video shows the entire village vibe, as well as includes an interview with a local to give you a well-rounded experience in such a short amount of time. I love the One Minute China videos by the World of Chinese. I think they're a fantastic insight into a side of Hainan that you don't normally see. On my recent trip to Hainan, uh, I actually looked at these videos and they helped me to find some really nice hidden corners in Hainan that I could explore. Uh, in particular, I really enjoyed the uh, video about the Fushan coffee um, and the process of making that coffee and I actually visited there and uh, it was really great to see in person. So yeah, these videos give me a lot of inspiration um, and I think they're fantastic. Hello, my name is Adriano, I'm from Italy and I live in Beijing and I watched the series uh, One Minute China and I actually been to Hainan before. I've been a couple of times, but I wasn't aware of uh, many of the things that were showed in the One Minute documentary. I wasn't aware of the old dead tea or the coffee culture or uh, the nightlife. I wasn't aware of the salt field area. And obviously I was very curious to find out about the, the chili, uh, the chili um, plantations. And I mean, where is the chili sauce coming from? So that definitely gave me the, um, the motivation to go again and um, travel again to the island and try, travel again to the lesser known spots and also to try to experience something different than usual. One thing I really like about the One Minute China series is that it really shines the spotlight on the people uh, living their life in those locations. To me, I think traveling is not just about the scenery, the food, the culture, but it's also about the people you get to meet on the way. So I think after watching the series, I'm really inspired to, uh, well, next time I go to Hainan, I'm really inspired to uh, really get to know the locals and have them tell us their stories too. I'm really looking forward to seeing more of these videos that go in depth into even more uh, amazing stories about the people in Hainan that I can use on my next trip to Hainan. I think this video series shows a different and more personal side of China and includes parts of the culture that most people don't even know exist, which is why it would be nice to see this series continue. And we're hoping that our One Minute, uh, one minute China series, uh, Hainan, uh, communicates well this, uh, this part of uh, what it is to be on that island in the first place. So to all the people that get to travel to Hainan, uh, I encourage you to explore outside of the normal boundaries and uh, discover the people that live there and try to live with them a little bit too.